So far throughout this training, you have heard about the early child serving programs in Wayne County. Many of these programs can be accessed to support child and family success. While all children grow and develop in unique ways, some children experience delays in their development. Children in Pennsylvania, also available nationwide, with developmental delays or disabilities benefit from a state-supported collaboration among parents, service practitioners, and others who work with young children needing special services. The Pennsylvania Early Intervention Program provides support and services to families with children from birth to age five with developmental delays and disabilities. The very distinct difference between early intervention and the other programs you have heard about thus far is that early intervention is treatment of developmental delays. Let me use an analogy to explain the difference. In an attempt to stay happy, healthy, and strong, many of us will eat healthy foods, exercise, and get plenty of rest. Despite being proactive and living a healthy lifestyle, there may come a time when you get sick or have an injury. In that case, you would go to the doctor for an evaluation and treatment. The treatment regimen may include ongoing therapy. Early intervention services are exactly that, treatment and ongoing therapy of an identified developmental delay or need. While all children grow and develop in unique ways, there are general developmental milestones that each child reaches. For example, most six to nine month old infants can sit independently and creep or crawl on their belly. By 12 to 15 months, babies are starting to say several words and can walk. By two and a half years, toddlers can use three word sentences and utensils to feed themselves. During the preschool years, three to five year old children are able to recite nursery rhymes, follow multi-step directions, and count. A child is eligible for early intervention services when a developmental delay of 25% or more is identified with a multidisciplinary evaluation in any of the five areas of development. These five areas of development include cognitive development, physical development, including vision and hearing, communication development, social or emotional development, and adaptive development. Informed clinical opinion may also be used when there are no standardized measures appropriate to determine or identify a developmental delay. Finally, a child may also be determined eligible based on a diagnosed physical or medical condition that has a high probability of developmental delay. These children may not currently be exhibiting a delay at the time of the evaluation. However, their diagnosis puts them at risk for having a potential delay. Examples of conditions with a high probability of developmental delay are Down syndrome or other chromosomal disorders, sensory, vision, or hearing impairments, seizure disorders, fetal alcohol syndrome, microcephaly or macrocephaly, metabolic disorders, spina bifida or other physical conditions, cerebral palsy or other neurological disorders, or autism. If you have a concern about a child you know, please call early intervention to schedule an evaluation. Just like putting off going to the doctor for an illness or injury can seriously diminish chances of recovery, postponed treatment for a child with a developmental delay seriously decreases the child's chance of improvement. Early intervention services for children in need are so important that early intervention services are provided at no cost to all families regardless of their income. If you are unsure about the need to schedule an evaluation, Early intervention staff can also help you by completing a screening tool. This tool can be completed over the phone or in person to help identify the need for further evaluation and or services. When a child is determined eligible for early intervention, services may include information on how children develop skills and abilities, education and support for the parent or caregiver, and specific developmental therapies designed for the child. Early intervention provides ideas for how a family can help their child at home as well as in the community. It is individualized to enhance both growing and learning. If a child is attending an early care education setting, EI teachers and therapists or specialists can assist the early childhood staff with strategies to promote the child's development. Services can be provided during the child's typical daily activities at home or in the community. 
at a child care center, a nursery school, a playgroup, or at Head Start programs. Early intervention can also assist families in finding and linking to a variety of community services and supports. The Birth to Three Early Intervention Program also provides tracking services. Children identified through the initial screening or through the independent evaluation process may be found eligible for tracking services rather than direct early intervention services. Tracking services are generally provided for children who are at risk for developing a delay. The following criteria are used when determining a child eligible for tracking services, notwithstanding a 25% delay. A child with a low birth weight of 1,500 grams or 3.5 pounds or less. A child who was cared for in a neonatal intensive care unit or NICU of a hospital. A child born to a chemically dependent mother. A child at serious risk of abuse or neglect as substantiated by Child Protective Services a child with an elevated lead level, or a child who comes with informed clinical opinion, usually a circumstance which puts a child at risk for developing a developmental delay. Making a referral for early intervention services is easy. Birth to three children can be referred by calling area code 570-253-9200, or preschool age children age three to five can be referred by calling 570 570- 969-6711. If you have any concerns about children, please talk to their doctors or make a referral for early intervention services. For more information on Wayne County Early Intervention Services or other programs available in the community, visit our website, ei.co.wayne.pa.us, or search for Early Intervention, Wayne County, Pennsylvania.